Hello, it's me again. Um, okay, yeah, so you'll have seen, hopefully, maybe, maybe not. So just give you um, give you a little bit of background because this is, well, this is the point, right? So I, have to, I feel like I've got, I feel like everyone who's watching this across five or six platforms, about 100,000 people, potential reach, I feel like everybody, Oh, maybe 60 minutes. I feel like everybody has seen what's happened over the last 24 hours. And this is the point. Some of you will have not seen. You'll just you'll happen to catch this live right now and be like, what on earth is she talking about? And that's kind of the point. That's kind of the whole point. Um so what I thought I'd do was come on and talk to you a little bit about i to write things down at the same time because I just forgot to write something on what they um okay so what's been going on so to tell so why would I be doing a live about this now why am I covered in pairs so 24 hours ago maybe something like that I put out a post no I did a live that was right yesterday morning so a bit longer than that yesterday morning I did a live around how to make or make 500 pounds extra in your business before Christmas well this week 500 pounds in 505 days to give you the extra money and I talked about taking it out right I did a live like this yesterday morning I got up and I was like what do people really need from me what do people want from me people overwhelmingly they want extra money for Christmas whether you're doing six figures seven figures five figures whatever like you just started you've been doing it for years you charge five pound an hour or 500 pound an hour regardless everyone likes the extra 500 quid right uh, I just did a post that's about a five day Kickstarter intensive and I sold a place on it at 500 pounds. So I like literally came to the office, by the time I went back out, my brain, I said to my children, my teenage girls said, just made 500 pounds in like five minutes. And they looked up from their phones and went, right, we're playing Dragon City. I'm like, right, okay. But um, I posted about this concept of putting your offer out, just put your offer out, just put your offer out. And if there's some options, and if you want that, uh, if you want the PDF that goes through all the links to that live, then let us know. But what I did after that was I did the live, people were taking action. I then went into my business mastermind group and I talked on a deeper level with people who pay me, obviously, about what they could do for their offers, whether it's a a nine pound thing, whether it's a small group mastermind at 197, whether it's a one off VIP for five, four nine seven, these are all suggested prices, obviously. And um, and we talked about through some of the different options of maybe just decluttering your house and selling selling the selling things. And then the final thing was we we are giving away five hundred pounds in cash next week inside the pop-up group for the LinkedIn five day challenge. So it all kind of pulled together. But I did a live right yesterday and people just loved it and they went off and they did the work and they got the results, right? And then I went back to the team and said, I think we should create this as a PDF so people don't have to watch the video all the time. I just keep showing people to go back to the video. I'm not a massive video watcher. I'm a, a big video creator, but not a massive video watcher. Uh, watcher. So I prefer to just read things. I sent the audio books on like seven hours. I can read this in like a couple of days, but anyway. So, we create the PDF and then I put on my Facebook saying, anybody want the PDF, let me know. And then like 50 people commented, so I sent it all to them. And then I, and then after that, I was like, oh, I should put it in my free group because we just hit 19,000. So I was like, oh, to celebrate, you can have this thing for free, no email required. And then I went to my sister's for my birthday and then I came back and I was like, oh, wow. <laughs> like, oh, it went crazy. I think someone's about nine, 10,000 reach inside that group. and. 800, 900 comments to the point where Abby said, I think we should shut the comments off and let us catch up because Facebook hates it when you're sending out lots of links. Uh, to which I replied, You want me to turn off potential leads? I don't think so. <laughs> um, so she's been beaving away in the background trying to get people because I keep getting blocked from sending messages. So anyway, that's a back end thing. So all these people who obviously need my help, then how that expanded there, and I put it on LinkedIn. Anyway, so then that's expensive. I was thinking, right, so some people took action and got results, and that's great, and we can get the social proof from that, which is cool, because I want more people to take the action and get the results, right? It's a whole point. 
But then I was thinking, because we have an audience engagement team now, so we have a team of people who are on the phones all the time speaking to our customers, right, before they before they become customers and during and after and all that kind of stuff. And I thought, imagine if we followed everyone up and was like, oh, hi, you asked for the thing, and we sent you a thing about how to make £500. Like, what action did you take? What results did you get? You know, um, because it's easy to get the thing and it's harder, not hard to do the work. Now, what I wanted to come up today to talk about is what to do if you're in business, you're in my world, you saw this kind of blow up over the last 24 hours and you put your offer out. So you've done what I said, took action and no one's bought. So you did the thing, you didn't just read the PDF, you didn't just watch the live, you put it out there and I'm seeing tons and tons of people putting offers out, which is fabulous, right? You put it out there and no one bought. And it feels like everywhere you look, people are celebrating, making sales, and now you want to cry. And now you're spiraling into, this is never going to work for me, it's hard for me, it's easy for everyone else, it's never going to work, I'm doing something wrong, people won't buy from me, no one ever wants to buy from me, I'm never going to make this a success, it's, you know, it's just not going to work, I hate social media, I hate Helen Pritchard, I hate everything about everything, right? You are spiraling. How do I know that? Because I've been there, babe. I have been there, trust me, many, 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 many times. I always say I have more things flop than I do fly, right? And in fact, one of the reasons why I very rarely say, let me know if you want this in the comments, is because I've always felt like, mm, if no one wants it and people can see that, it's awkward. So I've always said, make your call to action, DM me, right? But I didn't this time and I got a really good response, right? But I know the reason why I did it that way was because I just thought I'd try it, right? And what it taught what it's taught me is that I can now I'm at a stage in my business where I can do that and get that great response, right? Because my engagement's good, you know, people are really bought into my stuff, people want what I'm offering them, right? And it was like, but me five years ago wouldn't have got that response, obviously, you know, because I just didn't have the audience, didn't have the authority, didn't have the reach, just like so so many factors, right? I would put offers out and not get anywhere. Even if I said DM it, like I wouldn't get any DM. I've done it more recently as well. I put things out of people. I remember when we were doing um She Can 365 and I put out a you know an in-person day and no one bought it. And I was like, oh, people don't want to hang around with me. It's like even like putting out about the 5M event. And I thought we'd just sell it out like that. I thought, of course we'll sell 80 tickets out of like hundred thousand people. We sold, we sold 25 so far. Does that mean we won't sell near the time? Of course we will. Like, obviously, I, it's not my first rodeo when it comes to doing events, but you still have the same feelings. You're like, I took the action, I put the offer out, no one's bought, or not as many people bought as I thought, and it feels like everyone else is winning, and I'm a big, fat loser. Like, I have bought all of those thoughts. So if you are feeling those feelings and thinking those thoughts, I want you to do a kind of follow-up for you guys to say, I get it, I've been there, I'm still there sometimes, like, you know, I still don't get, I can't sell anything to anyone, like, I still haven't got a real decent high ticket offer that people are buying, you know, so I'm still there, so it's not like, oh, you know, if you can't sell anything, here's a, a lie, it's like, I get it, I get it, okay, so I thought I'd just come and hang out and we could talk about, talk it through, talk it through, guys. So I thought, what do you do, what do you do, what do I do? Or what would I recommend somebody do? Hi guys, don't forget to register. So if you are feeling those feelings, let me know in the comments. And most of you are saying, I can see Sarah and Kieran and Michelle, but everyone else just says Facebook user. And I can't, ha I can't, ha I don't know who you are if it says Facebook user. Look, I can't put, I can put it on the screen, but just as that, Facebook user. Nikki's done it. Hi. Perfect. Um, so I just wanted to like hang out and talk through those feelings and Facebook users feeling those feelings. And I get it. So this is the first thing that you need to know is I 100% get it. 100% get it. Yeah. 
when everyone's looks like they're winning and people are celebrating their wins and you're putting your offers out and people aren't buying i get it yeah especially when it's like a bit of a an event happening a bit like what's happened over the last 24 hours which wasn't planned <laughs> obviously it just happened um so i want you to just think about that and let me know in the comments how you're feeling and how it makes you feel because that's when we can really dig into this stuff and look at how we can help you every step of the way. So I know that putting your stuff out there takes a lot. I know it takes a lot because I spend a lot of my time encouraging people to put stuff out there. And I know that before you put stuff out there, you feel all those feelings too, right? The anxiety. And then you, you put it out there and it's almost like the worst thing that could possibly happen. No one buying has happened. Like, sad about it. But yes, Sarah. It is hard, isn't it? Because social media only really shows you the good bits. Nobody sees the hard work, the determination, the stress that happens behind the closed doors. Yes. It's, and this is where hopefully the more we chat about this stuff, the more it becomes normalized. And it's like nobody can admit that they're feeling like crap about stuff. Like it's, it's part of it. You can't have one without the other. You can't have the highs of being an entrepreneur if you're not willing to go through the lows. But I just wanted to, create this because I know somebody somewhere needs to hear this right now right and that's that's all I can do okay so these are my top tips number one is to get sad and mad about it yes you're allowed to be upset you're allowed to be cross about it you're allowed to feel weird and triggered and jealous and just feel hopeless and that you're not enough and angry that you're doing the work and not getting the results and you're allowed to cry, you're allowed to get mad and just be angry at the world, you're allowed to take it out on the people closest to you, like yeah, emotionally, obviously, you're allowed to be really fed up. When you put your offer out there, no one buys, you're allowed to be fed up for five minutes. Yeah, so feel the feelings, go into the emotions, journal it out, write it down, talk about it, rant to a friend, voice note somebody about how pissed off you are, and then it's done. Yeah, and that's really important. I think when we try and deny that feeling those feelings, yeah, is it not good? And uh, I feel all of that. I cried loads the last two days. Yeah, right? And that's okay. Nick is feeling good. Good. Needs to get more varied in the way and places I'm posting it. Yes. Okay, so number one, get sad. I'm mad about it. Go for it. Wallow in it for five minutes. And then number two, remember where you're at. Where are you actually in your business? When you look at other people's success or perceived success, they are in a completely different place to you. Different place, different person. You can't even compare. You cannot compare. You don't know what support people have got, what work they've done before that moment, what what moves they've made in the background, like what look they've had. Like You just do not know. All you need to think about is where are you in your business? Are you further along than you were yesterday, last week? last month right just it is not about other people it is about what's going on with you if i'd given up because i couldn't sell linkedin stuff to people and i was surrounded by other linkedin experts well i don't think you think there's such a thing and if there is what a rubbish thing to be i'd never do it would i i've never have done it i'd have just given up and stopped but i i was at the beginning i was in the early stages of getting known for my thing and if you're really honest with yourself, like one of the reasons you're not selling like that, like as in, you know, like you, I just posted about my five ways thing, my five day intensive for 500 quid, I sold one in, in less than five minutes. But how can I do that? I do that because of all the millions of ways I've shown up in that person's life and all the millions of ways I've helped that person and all the things that they've seen and we combine that with it, them being in exactly the right, right place exactly the right time which leads me quickly on to number three and that is how social media works remember that if you post about your offer 
the chances of the right person seeing at the right time, having the right problem and the right money in place is tiny. <laughs> it's tiny. I've lost count of the amount of people that have bought from me because they've said they've opened up their phone and I've just been at the top of their feed. And I'm talking about client, one-to-one -one clients. I've not, I didn't want to really go on Facebook that much. I've opened up my phone though. I was like, have a quick look. And there was your one-to-one -one offer. I couldn't believe it. And I just pressed the button and sent you a message and now we're working together. Social media is designed because you, if you're not paying for it, it's designed to make you need to pay or feel the need to pay to get the most out of it. It's designed to give you a taster but not the full cake, yeah? Because that's how they make their money. That's how they make their money. So remember, everything you post does not get shown to everyone, which is why I started this live with an explanation of what is the context of what I'm talking about. Because I feel like we've had 10,000 people see my post, we've had thousands of people see it in the group, we've sent it out to 25,000 people by email. Of course, everyone knows that I've done this five ways thing. No, they don't. Why don't they know? because of the way social media works. And the fact is that people do not care about you at all. They care about themselves and what's going on in their lives as their priority. Of course, we all care about each other on a bigger scale. But everyone, people are not sitting around thinking, I really wanna buy something today. I really wanna buy, invest in myself, my business today. I'm just waiting for the right offer to drop into my lap. You know, we've got to, you've gotta be realistic, you know? You get you have a better chance when things go well and you get better reach and you're being consistent, but it's everything that builds up to that post. It's not just the post, right? But remember how social media works and please don't beat yourself up about it because most of the people who you're kind of thinking, I thought they would buy, won't have seen it. And most importantly, a lot of people will have seen it even if they're not ready to buy now. Doesn't mean they don't want to buy. Yeah, we want you to be aspirational. Then We'll post about it 477 more times between now and Sunday or something like that. If you're really serious about making this 500 quid, take it seriously. Post about it, talk about it, do four pillars about it, videos about it. I must have created maybe 30, 40 posts really around this concept of this five ways. If you think about the lives I've done, PDF, and then think about all the people I've sent it out to now, you know, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people. I've not just done it and then forgotten about it. Yeah, and that's what gives it the longevity and the power and the momentum and the stuff that you do. So you post about it again and again and again and again. Like I said, the first few a couple of points, right? More people are gonna see it. More people will see it. People won't get sick of it because they don't care about you enough to get sick about. I had a call, I had a, a call once and it was, um, you know, got all the faces there and everyone had bought into the LinkedIn Mastermind, I think it was. And someone said, well, what if people get sick of me posting about my business on LinkedIn or Facebook or whatever we talking about? I said to, I said, everybody now look at the screen and tell me, have you ever thought I am so sick of Helen Butcher posting so much? And they're all like, no, we love your stuff. That's because you're ideal clients. Ask 100 people in this, like, in my world, like, they'll be like, yeah, she posts too much, she's really annoying. Yeah, my friends and family have all followed me, because it's a lot. When people ask me to be friends on Facebook, I'm like, we can, but just be aware, I use it for everything, including my business, so there's a lot, like, you probably will unfollow me. But the people who need me, and the people who love me and then fall by for me, they never get sick of me, right? They, they want more of me. It's not, I say it's not about no like, and trust, it's like, like me, love me, want more of me. Like, of course they're not going to get sick of you. The people that love you and the people that think you're amazing are not going to sick of you. And the other people are never going to be your ideal clients anyway. So even though you want to cry and curl up in a ball and retract when no one buys your stuff, once you've had your five minutes, then it's about expansion and doing more of it and putting it out there. And giving this offer it's very best chance. So when you go to bed, so you're going to do the run this off until Sunday night. When you go to bed on Sunday and you post it right up until the deadline and you're giving people a deadline and a consequence, I want you to go to bed tired. Yeah, I'm like, I have given the offer everything I've got, squoze out every last drop. Yeah, I've done everything I could do to sell it. 
honestly, it's more than you think. It's more than you think. You should flop into bed on that Sunday. Like, do you know what? I didn't sell any, but I couldn't have done any more. I did all my, I did loads of posts. I was active in groups. I approached people about it. I rang people about it. I talked about it endlessly. I did videos about it. I did, I, you know, I talked about it a million different ways. I posted about it. I put out social proof about it. I told stories about it. And you know what? I didn't sell any, but I gave it a hundred percent. Most of you posting once or twice, it's not, it's not enough unless you've done all the work in the background to make it enough. So if you post once or twice and people don't buy, it's because you've not done enough up to that point. It doesn't mean you can't sell it. It just means you've got to do more from this point on until the end of the, you know, until the end of the deadline. So you've got to get back on it and do it. And you've got to be honest with yourself. Like you've got to be self like self motivating on this one. Like it's only till Sunday night. So I'm going to go all in. I'm going to go all in and I'm going to post about it. I'm going to talk about it and I'm going to ring people. And if no one buys, that's okay. But I've done everything I can. If you post about this less than 10 times, you cannot say you've given it everything you've got. No way. No way. Jose, can you? And then finally, you get to that point and you're like, I've done everything I could. I've really given it everything. And it's like, I'm satisfied with my effort. Like, I feel like I, I wasn't in neutral. I was running in fifth gear and I'm all good, right? Then we chalk it up to experience, right? It's a cliche, but it's true. You win or you learn every single time. If you gave it everything you've got and you did your 477 posts and you showed up even though you felt sad and mad, then you know that that offer's not for your audience right now. Doesn't mean it's never gonna work, it just means right now it's not for them. That's what you've learned, yeah? So you can't lose, you can't lose. But if you don't give everything you've got, you'll never know, you'll never know. But you've got it, it's just part of it, part of it. You have to love the process of marketing an offer and detach yourself from the outcome of marketing an offer. You've gotta just enjoy the process because that's the bit that requires all of the fuel to get something off the ground, you know, make it, it makes it a lot easier when you throw yourself into the process and really emotionally detach from that. So I hope that's useful. Um, so just to recap, what to do when you feel sad, feel sad, feel sad, feel mad, feel the feelings, let it off, write it down, rant it off, scream into your pillow, whatever, five minutes. Then have an honest assessment of where are you in your actual business. Forget what other people are doing. What, where are you at? Are you improving? Like, are you happy? Like, this is good. Remember that social media is like it's designed to not show you stuff to people, right? Give it all you got. All you got. Yeah, I just, honestly, I have to get my game face on when people are like, I posted about that offer, no one bought it. So it doesn't work. It's a crap offer or whatever. And I'm like, where did you post it? How, how much? How many times? And I, I posted it twice on Facebook. I'm like, what? <laughs> do a bit more on that. And finally, you do win or learn every single time. It's all part of it. And then finally, if you didn't sell your offer and you want to know how to sell on LinkedIn, nice segue, come and join the free five-day challenge. It's completely free. We hang out for five days. There's a lot of this stuff in there. It's not just about LinkedIn. The thing is never the thing, right? So if you struggled with putting an offer out and you're thinking, how can I build an audience that knows me, loves me, wants more of me? I'm going to show you how we're going to do that. In five days next week, I'm going to show you everything you need to know about how to use LinkedIn to grow your audience, how to engage with that audience, and how to put out content that positions you as the go-to expert to that very audience. I love the five-day challenge. I love LinkedIn. Come and join the fun. But DM me if you haven't got the link, if you can't see the link by scrolling up and down wherever you are, it's probably somewhere very close to you. Have a look at how many times we've posted about the five day challenge. I think we average around 200 posts a week or something like that about a specific thing like the five day challenge, as well as all the stuff that I do on top and all the lives and everything else. So hopefully that should show you the level of activity I would expect. And that's when I'm at my stage. So the further behind you are or perceived to be behind in terms of your audience and your 
and your kind of positioning it means you have to do more to get to this point so i would if i was you and you didn't sell anything i would come into the five day challenge especially only even if you did right you still want to sell more enjoy the process have a lot of fun with it learn some stuff and really start to implement that um after a week the challenge group is opening tomorrow guys um we've got i think we've got two thousand people close to two thousand people registered now it's going to be wild as always but lots and lots of fun i'll be live every night at five we'll be giving away cash money every night this time as well so people will be winning so you need to show up come to the calls of between five and six and you've got a chance to win that money as well as learning <laughs> lots of stuff for your business so hopefully that is useful and um, somebody somewhere needed to hear it maybe emma yes the bombs needed thank you <laughs> yeah you're welcome so if you know anyone who's struggling with sales you know anyone who's like feeling frustrated in their business show them this and get them to join the five day challenge lots of love bye guys